Imagine a dark room filled with shelves of unsolved cases that may not have been looked at in years. Now imagine taking those cases off the shelf and bringing them into the light. The goal of this channel is to shed some new light on those dark cold cases on a state by state basis. Thus, welcome to Dark Cold State. Today's true crime cold cases are from the state of Alaska. Our first cold case is the murder of Brandon Erlmeyer, or his clinket name, Yail Yugu. Brandon was 20 years old and lived with his grandmother. He called her G-Mom because she was both a grandmother and a mother to him. His grandmother states he was a smart, funny, and compassionate child. In grade school, he gave his lunches to homeless families and volunteered to serve meals to homeless children. Brandon loved the outdoors from the moment he was born and his pants and shoes were always muddy from sliding down mountainsides, snowboarding, longboarding, or daily hikes up Eagle River near where he lived. On December 2, 2017, at approximately 10.41 p.m., the Anchorage Police Department received a call regarding people who had gotten into an altercation on the 7,000 block of Howard Avenue in Anchorage, Alaska. When officers arrived, they found Brandon deceased and lying at the bottom of some steps of a covered staircase on East 6th Avenue. Brandon had been severely beaten and shot. Brandon's grandmother, Nancy Furlow, has erected many memorials at the site where Brandon died. Unfortunately, his memorial has been shot and vandalized so many times that Nancy erected a steel cross in his honor. Nancy believes that those that vandalized the memorial may have been the people who murdered Brandon, but it is unknown if the police have investigated this possibility. There have been no arrests in Brandon's case. Anyone with information surrounding the shooting, the identities of any who were involved directly or who may have witnessed it, are asked to contact Alaska Crime Stoppers at 907-561-7867 and reference APD case number 17-49543. Our next cold case is the case of Ann Seifen. The date was November 8, 2003, and 15-year-old Ann was out with a group of friends. They were in the parking lot of the Space Station Video Arcade, located at 2710 Spinard Road in Anchorage, Alaska. Anne was the passenger in one of the cars in the lot. As the friends were sitting there, a suspect fired several shots into the rear of the car that Anne was sitting in, and Anne was hit by one of those shots. The suspect fled on foot and to date has not been identified. Do you have any information that could help law enforcement in this case? Even the most trivial or small item could be the key to solving a cold case. If you have any information on the homicide of Ann Seifen, please contact Anchorage Crime Stoppers at 907-561-7867. Our last true crime cold case for this week is John L. Jack Sr. John was a retired fisherman, Alaskan native, and had once been the mayor of Angoon. He moved to Juneau when his wife moved into the St. Anne's Nursing Home on 6th Street. John lived in the Mountain View Apartments located on 12th Street just off Egan Drive. The Mountain View Apartments is primarily housing for seniors and shares a building with the Juno Senior Center. On Friday, October 14, 1988, John had planned to take a ferry to Angoon. John cashed several checks that day and it is likely that he had a large amount of cash on him. He also stopped into the Viking restaurant downtown in the afternoon. John was a regular at the downtown Viking restaurant and he would often stop in for a cup of coffee on his way to the bank and he would also greet friends he knew downtown. 
Three days later, at approximately 10 a.m., employees at the Mountain View Apartments noticed they had not seen John over the weekend and checked his room. John's door was locked and there were no signs of forced entry, but when they opened the door, it was obvious that a horrific crime had taken place. John had been brutally beaten and stabbed to death. According to pathologists, it is likely that John was killed on the evening of the Friday that he was last seen. The pathologist ruled that John had died as a result of the knife wounds, although the beating was so severe it was impossible to tell how many times that John had been struck. All of the money and John's wife's jewelry were missing from the apartment. Based on evidence at the scene, police suspect that two people committed the crime, either a man and a woman, or a man and a smaller man. No weapon was found at the scene, but a pair of small black Stadia athletic shoes were found in the building's trash bin. These shoes were covered in blood and hair similar to John's. John was a vulnerable victim as he had suffered a stroke and was partially paralyzed. Based on this and other evidence, it is suspected that the murderers were familiar with John and the building and that John may have known the murderers and allowed them into his apartment. If you have any information regarding the homicide of John L. Jack Sr., please contact Juno Crime Line at 907-523-7700. If you have a cold case or a missing person cold case that you would like to see featured on this channel, please suggest in the comments below or email me the information. There are also many unidentified remains found in each state. If you have not already done so, please consider getting DNA testing completed where the DNA results are shared with law enforcement so that the possibility of identifying any unknown remains is increased.